Bromine and brominated organohalogens are often misunderstood and considered problematic for humans and the environment. However, this perception masks a fascinating and surprising reality. BSEF recently spoke to Dr. Gordon Gribble of Dartmouth College in the United States, a leading authority on bromine and brominated organohalogens. Let's hear what he has to say. Bromine is a commonly found element in oceans, groundwater, soils, foods, etc. And it has been reported to be essential for life. Salts of bromide, iodide, and chloride are involved in nerve transmission, hormone synthesis, and other biochemistry. Indeed, chlorine in the form of bleach, hypochlorite, is an integral part of our immune system, being produced by our white blood cells to fight infection. Today, the word organic refers to a carbon-containing compound. Halogenated simply is a compound that contains halogen, the halogen being chlorine, bromine, fluorine, or iodine. So an organohalogenated compound, very simply, is an organic compound, carbon-containing, that contains halogen. It might contain one or several halogens. The pesticide methyl bromide, which is also a natural product, is a well-known example, contains one carbon, three hydrogens, and one bromine. Organohalogens can be produced naturally or synthetically. Naturally occurring simply refers to a substance that is produced by a living organism. Such natural compounds are produced by bacteria, fungi, insects, plants, marine organisms, mammals, including us. Other natural abiotic sources are volcanic emissions, forest fires, geothermal processes, and soil chemistry. Several organohalogens have both a natural and an anthropogenic origin. One example is methyl bromide, which is both, as I mentioned before, a synthetic man-made compound, a pesticide, or a natural product produced by seaweeds, biomass burning, and also vegetables. It's been identified in cabbage, rapeseed, radish, and broccoli in very small amounts. The thyroid hormone is one of the rare examples of an organoiodine compound that is produced naturally in all humans and all mammals, essential for life. Several decades ago, an environmental organization promulgated the idea that nature would never make in particular organochlorine compounds. They argued that organochlorine compounds are inherently toxic and non-biodegradable. At that time, I knew several well-known natural organochlorine compounds and other organohalogens existed. And in 1991, I set out to locate in the scientific literature all known examples of naturally occurring organohalogens. By 1968, I identified 42 natural organohalogens. In early 2010, the total number was about 4,800, equally divided between organochlorines and, or and organobromine compounds that occur naturally. Through my research, I've discovered that some of these compounds could have societal benefits, and they could be cultivated for industrial purposes. There are close to 6,000 organohalogen compounds. I believe that nature produces natural products, halogenated or not, for a distinct purpose. In many cases, we think or know that the function of these compounds is for defense. Numerous marine organobromines produced by algae are potent feeding deterrents to fish. Some organobromines produced by sponges repel barnacle larvae that would otherwise smother the sponge. Sponges and soft corals are anchored to the reef so that they must rely on chemical defense for survival since they lack the protective shells and mobility of other marine life. Many natural organohalogen compounds are essential to life. The function of these compounds is for defense, repellents, or natural pesticides as pheromones, as territorial markers, and as hormones, and have powerful anti-cancer and antibacterial activity, and several are in clinical development.
There's been a lot of concern about human exposures to brominated organic compounds, and in particular polybrominated diphenyl ethers, or PBDEs, and their metabolites. While the majority are man-made, the literature reports that these compounds can be naturally formed. A study at Woods Hole in Massachusetts has found that certain sponges produce the same polybrominated diphenyl ethers that are man-made fire retardants. Marine acorn worms, which are ubiquitous in the worldwide marine environment, produce brominated phenols to safeguard their burrows against predation. My research indicates that new organohalogen compounds, mainly organochlorines and organobromines, in equal amounts are discovered to the extent of 100 to 160 per year. Keep in mind that we have collected only a small fraction of the extant marine and terrestrial organisms on Earth. We should fully expect to find more organohalogen compounds. So, now you know Bromine and brominated organohalogens are not what you might think at first glance. Bromine is essential for life and brominated organohalogens are part and parcel of the natural world. These compounds have purpose and are naturally formed. If you would like more information on bromine and its uses, please visit our website at www.bcef.org.